He's still on his way, so we'll wait for him. But y'all can give him a big hand till then. <laughs> to introduce um, the publisher and to talk about the book a little more, uh, we have a very special person within us. Uh, Hi, good evening. Thank you so much. It's wonderful being here um, for this really special occasion. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking Crossword for hosting this event for us. Um, as you know, this is um, well-known global publishers of highly visual um, illustrated reference books. Um, and a few years ago, we started a program of creating titles for our uh, local publishing. We have a very, very rich uh, international list and we wanted to add some beautiful products from India. And on that, pro uh, on that list, one of the titles that we were very, very keen to do was a book on Indian cinema. Um, most of our products are international titles uh, that appeal to a global audience that cover a range of subjects from uh, natural history, from uh, culture, um, cinema, um, geography, nature, everything. Um, and we really wanted to add some very special subjects from India. Um, the Indian cinema itself lends itself to a, a product like DK's, which is rich in its um, visual um, sort of um, culture. And we knew that it was, it was going to be really special that we would be able to unearth a lot of uh, treasures uh, you know, from, and that was something that we really wanted to do. We wanted to find um, some of the lesser known facts and really celebrate Indian cinema. We don't claim this to be a, a, a history of Indian cinema. We wanted to just celebrate the most significant moments, the most significant titles from each decade. And that's what this book is about. It is a, a, a journey through Indian um, cinema in, uh, that came out of um, mainstream Hindi. Um, and that really is where the title also came up. Um, we, we debated a lot about the, um, the title of this book. Um, and that's something that you would probably notice when you read the book. Um, Mr. Bachchan, who's written the foreword for it, um, that was one of the things that he's commented on. And um, he was not really in favor of this title, but we, we thought a lot about it. We felt that it was most relevant to what we were trying to convey. We wanted to celebrate um, you know, so, uh, popular uh, cinema and make sure that it relates and it connects with a global audience. And um, we wanted to use a simple word that immediately connects to what we were trying to portray. And um, Bollywood just seems to be the right title for that. A lot of our products, um, we, uh, when we think about the titles of those books, um, we use simple one word titles. So for example, if it's a book in history, it'll be called history. If it's a, if it's a title on, um, on food, it'll very often say something like that. It'll be a very, very simple title. And therefore, Bollywood just felt like the right title for this book. Um, we're very, very honored to have some very well-known. And there are uh, so many things to look at because cinema is a visual medium. Yeah. So you only, if you only limit a book to text, it'll be boring, even if the text is wonderful, you know. So uh, you have, we had to strike a balance and uh, each era has its own highlights. Yes. So if there was anger in the 70s, there was romance in the 60s. Yes. And there was uh, a socialist element, uh, thread of socialism in the pre-60s, uh, you know. So all that is reflected in uh, the movies that were made in those era. But I feel most importantly, post 50s it is the stars who dominated the scene right. and uh, so in the book we had to take care of uh, the great films the great stars and you know the memorable songs and props and as she some some of the beautiful posters that were there so it's all a uh, you know everything contributed to make this uh, book special you know uh, karan your work was i think even more challenging uh, in that you went back to the glorious pre-independence cinema as well, you know. 
and uh, which is uh, you know not much is known about it we know a few movies from the time but uh, you know the things like hunter wali devika rani we know about them but we don't know too much about them uh, what was that process like to bring that alive in this book see on uh, one level i think that was the most exciting part actually of the book for me uh, i've always been interested in the historical aspect of the indian cinema and the one thing that fti i did when we kind of uh, thing went over there is it working now yeah, yeah. and uh, even at the ftii we actually had an entire semester on indian cinema history right. so it is something you know which i was like very into so in that sense of course i think it i mean for me that was the most enjoyable part of the book it had its pitfalls in the sense that uh, there's been a very limited amount of writing on indian thing cinema and its history i mean off the cuff i can think of indian film by barno krishnaswamy which you know used to be a bible for us i think so many cinemas of bd garga a pictorial history of indian cinema firdos rangonwala over there and unfortunately what's happened today is that it's very very tough to you know to look for stuff because everyone just goes straight to wikipedia or imdb and anyone can put up stuff and there's the facts are all over the place i think the biggest challenge in that was to really get the facts right of thing what you want to say and you know be able to put the history of our thing cinema and the eras that i was writing about in in some sort of proper context so in that sense i would say that my bible of research were more the older books right. and the older publications because at that point of time many of the people we are writing about were alive and the authors had actually interviewed them had got quotes from them yeah. so you know keep on trying to include as much that came from the horse's mouth really yeah. uh, rather than uh, you know to make up one's own uh, but otherwise yes i think that part was extremely exciting for me because i take to history naturally right and you know you uh, the period that you talk about is closer to us uh, where we are in history of uh, cinema uh, did you find it easier or was it harder because you know sometimes things are closer what can you say which is not already known and um, and also did you find it um, you know like um, karan mentioned that he went back to a lot of the publications of the time right did you find a difference um, in terms of the kind of uh, reportage that you saw around the movies of the 90s particularly <coughs> i mean um, straight off the bat it was a lot of fun because i mean i'm a kid of the 90s i, I started watching films in the 90s so uh, a lot a lot of it uh, was i mean essentially about like just going back to my i mean growing up days where i was like i mean <coughs> watching a film every friday uh, and um, so i mean that was that i mean this essential thrill of a schoolboy sort of like rediscovering like his first love so to speak so 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 that was uh, really enjoyable uh, uh, the second was i mean uh, this thing about saying something fresh that's a that's a great question i think because i mean what really helped for me was in the 90s i would just like i would just watch films i I mean I was I was really small so I mean I I wasn't reading like good literature or good journalism on them so I mean all the thoughts and ideas that I had about the films were like were my own so to speak like you know I mean there was no sort of like uh infiltration of of anything else but then like I mean you, as you grow up and as you like your engagement with cinema differs right and <clears throat> so I thought that juxtaposition was really interesting where I was watching or like like rewatching a film which i had loved i like let's say when i was 10 or something but now i can sort of like engage with it more like more critically and can still be a little harsh on it like you know just to sort of like see it with someone uh, like with the eyes of someone who is in 2017 so to speak and like a lot of a lot of things have changed right like in the way we make films like even the aesthetics of mainstream indian uh, hindi films have changed over the years and uh, so that was really cool i mean uh, a, a lot of uh, some of the stuff looked really cheesy but it like you kind of like look at them essentially with a lot of endearment and uh, uh, and it's i so so I, i found that really interesting and really cool because i was like ha huh, this is nice i mean some of it has aged really well some of it has not but it's fine you know and uh, so i thought that was really interesting uh, the third part i mean <clears throat> with respect to reportage on uh, hindi uh, on hindi films i mean my pieces did not really really require me to sort of like you know i mean 
because a lot of things a were fresh in are fresh in memory so i mean and there weren't like a lot of contentious like dates events and stuff like that of course i mean i did my uh, like a basic fact check i mean it it was fine i would say i mean i'm sure like there's there's a big difference in the way journalism happened film journalism happened in the 60s to like the area that i sort of covered the 90s and a bit of the arts so uh, but yeah i mean again like the way films are changing i mean journalism on it is also changing so it was fairly fine competent stuff i would say yeah okay that's nice and diplomatic the big star attraction mr bachchan uh, welcome mr bachchan such a pleasure to have you with us no, so we we were just chatting and we were just ruminating it would be great to have if i can request all to please settle down we will have an opportunity to for the photo op please settle down everyone i repeat you all will get an opportunity once again uh, if i may just request you all once again please settle down still photographers uh, may i request you all to please step back all of you uh, we will not be able to continue if you all continue so please step back everyone still photographers please step back okay good evening sir and thank you for being with us um, we will now have the golden moment and we request uh, mr amita bachchan to launch the book for us uh, still photographers uh, will have first uh, go at the pictures uh, the video the videographers you all will get a chance so let the still photographers first click i repeat still photographers will get the first chance videographers please have a little patience you all will get your chance too i think you all can give a big round of applause okay uh, can we ask the still photographers to please step back uh, videographers will have their chance now okay still photographers okay we will now have an opportunity for the videographers so still photographers please step back the still photographers please <coughs> still photographers please move back the videographers need a chance now okay this is for the videographers may i request the panel to be seated may i request the panel to please be seated
Okay, thank you so much for your cooperation. Hello, don't push. Mr. Bachchan, if I could request you to say a few words about the book. So, so thank you so much, uh, members of the media and all those that have been connected with the publishing and the release of this book. Uh, I'm not going to take the name because I don't like this word, and I've expressed that in my foreword when I wrote. Osaja has been... Uh, um, a, a journalist by profession, but has been uh, someone that has been passionately interested in filmography. And I have ha always had great admiration for him because there are very few amongst us, unfortunately, that have never taken up the idea or the thought of documenting the Indian film industry, researching it, keeping old memorabilia, and uh, I really want to appreciate your work, Osaja, and for having taken the trouble of uh, pursuing your passion, in a way, but also creating something for posterity, for the generations to come. I've always found that we do a lot of work. We've been a 100-year film industry, but there really isn't any kind of documentation of our work. Many a times I've I've spoken to many of my colleagues and to other people that are connected with the film industry. How wonderful it would be if I could have known what, say, K. Asif was thinking when he was making Mughal Azam, or how did Dilip Saab approach his role in Devdas, or what was Bimal Royji's uh, idea of wanting to make a particular story in a particular manner? Why? Guru Dutt used um, a particular kind of camera angle or lighting when he was shooting the song Vaktine Kya Kya Hasisism from this iconic film Kagas Ke Pool. And these are moments that are lost and forgotten now and we will never know that. But how wonderful that we have people like Osaja who will collect these memorabilia and keep it for posterity for generations to come. This is an, an immensely important document and which is why I've always wanted to support him in any work that is going to be done in this direction. In the future, uh, Osaja, if you find, and ma'am, if you and any others that are connected with documenting our history or talking about it, uh, I would be the first person to come forward and extend my help and cooperation. Thank you so much for being here. I, I'm, I feel very proud uh, that uh, Osaja has entrusted me with writing this forward, and this is exactly what I've expressed in the book, that um, time is going away. In the early days, I can understand uh, there weren't so many mediums of communication, and therefore, uh, making a record of something like this was not possible. But now that we do have them, uh, please give it more attention, give it more value, give it more respect, because uh, the Indian film industry is truly a very respectful place. Thank you so much. So wonderful words from Mr. Bachchan. I would now invite Mr. Nitin Pandey and Mr. Sudanshu Roy to uh, hand over a token of appreciation. Mr. Nitin Pandey and Mr. Sudanshu Roy. 
the still photographers, please be seated. May I now invite uh, once again Mr. Nitin Pandey and Mr. Sudanshu Roy to hand over a token of appreciation. Can I request the still photographers to just have a little seat so that the, the videographers also get an opportunity? Okay, may I request the photographers to step back, please? Guys, there will be no uh, signing uh, from here on. May I request all of you to just st stand back? Thank you, Mr. Bachchan, for your presence.